from Kaduna to Kebi. The north is bleeding and our youth have been brainwashed, says a Twitter user. The issue of insecurity in Nigeria today is not something that people need to be told about in Nigeria. Hardly will you uh, would a single day pass in Nigeria without people hearing one bad news or the other about kidnapping and killings in the country. The northern part of the country could said to be the part that is mostly affected by these insecurity issues. Based on this issue of insecurity and killings in the north, a certain Twitter user with uh, the with username Bulama Buka Bukati has cried out regarding what they are presently passing through in the north. According to him, uh, according to him, he stated that from Kebi to Bono and from Kaduna to Kebi, the whole north is presently bleeding to her badly. He went on and stated that those who claim to represent the interests of the North are criminally quiet and that Jews have been brainwashed, blackmailed, and bullied into silence. This is what he said. This week, I write that from Benue to Bono, from Kajuna to Kebi, the North is bleeding so badly. Those who claim to represent the North are criminally quiet, and our youth have been brainwashed, blackmailed, and bullied into silence. This is really sad. Indeed, it's really the North that can be able to rescue themselves, and no one can do that apart from them. With the way these uh, things are presently looking in Nigeria, it's obvious that the government don't know what they will do again. But we all hope and pray for God to continue and help Nigeria Nigerians out. That is the only prayer we need in Nigeria today. It is only God that can help us. It is only God that can save us in this country. In this our Nigeria. We need God at this time. We need his intervention. We need him. This is the northern part of the country crying and uh, you know pleading. Saying that the youth have been brainwashed. The youth can no longer stand for themselves and for their people in the northern part of the country. There was something Namdi Kano said that I will not forget. In a report, he said that uh, everyone should stand to their defense because there is no crime. There is no crime in defense. You can defend yourself if, uh, you know, something bad is coming your way. It is very right to defend yourself and prevent the attack from, you know, affecting or attacking you. you. So that is what uh, these people need in the north. He said that there is no day that can pass without the north, I mean, without uh, one uh, person or two die in the northern part of the country. And it is because of violence. It is because of a uh, misunderstanding of what a view that we have been talking about. He's saying that uh, the North is bleeding. is bleeding badly. What can the leaders do? The leaders are already tired. He said that the leaders are already tired. This is what he said. This is really sad indeed. It is only North that can be able to rescue themselves. Yes. They are the only one that can rescue themselves, and no one can do that apart from them. No one can do that apart from them. The government is already tired. Our uh, Nigerian army are already tired. And so many of them are already tired of the whole situation. Because even the children that were born at that time, uh, during, uh, before the beginning of this uh you know, uh, of this problem in the north, 
of this BH in the north, they grew up to know what is really called BH until now. They are still growing up with it. What can we do to this situation? Why are we growing up with this kind of mentality in the northern part of the country? He's saying that uh, with the way things are presently looking in Nigeria, it is obvious that the government don't know that they will, what they will do again. Yes, we can be a chance to say that they do not know what they will do again. They do not know. From one problem to the other, is it too difficult for governments to do? Now look at it. He also said that uh, he stated that from Kebi to Bono, from from Kaduna to Kebi, the whole north is presently bleeding so badly. You can imagine. This is irrespective of uh, who uh, who is living in the town in these towns. Because even the governors are being attacked, their leaders are attacked every day. So, why the, the the followers cannot even do anything to that? And the Nigerian army are there. What are they doing to this situation? But something has to be done. We cannot keep quiet forever and allow things go bad for us in this country. It is our own country, it is our land. We cannot run to uh, anywhere. There's nowhere, there's no place like home. But when the home is not peaceful and not conducive, what do you expect? People will run out and run away. The North, will, with a different orientation from their phobia, can only salvage this situation. When the South was on was on NSA's uh, demonstration was the focus what was the focus of the northern youth they are beginning to be good uh, followed from the protest because it has shaken the government the north should also do something drastic it makes the government on their two and address the issue of insecurity in the north the southern youth were busy fighting for the whole day of the nation, for the whole nation, while the youth in, from the north were fighting and pro and parochial interest. For parochial interest, you can imagine. Well, when the Ensa's protest was going on, the northern youth did not do anything. They did not join the protest. There was a report that the Northern did not want to join the protest because of their leader, because of uh, the the president, because the president is from the north, so they are trying to protect the interests of uh, the Northern leaders. Meanwhile, it is affecting them underneath. It is affecting them underneath. That is why this report is saying that the Northern youth have been bought. The northern youth have been brainwashed. The northern youth have been bullied. They have been bullied every time. You can imagine youths are not joining in the protests. In the interest, the interest of other youths is none of their business. They will have been toast. They can be tossed up and down without any of them, uh, you know, knowing what they are doing. And this one said that uh, they are they kept brainwashing them up to today. House, wow. One of the greatest injustice done to the youth of the North is the denial of Western education to greater youth of the region. And so on and saying that just wait for the completion of Kano and Niger Rail then, the blending will be worse for the whole Nigeria. Wow. This one said that it is it's a matter of time before the North will bleed more than normal because of Islamic bondage put on their neck. The law of nature are always simple and explicit. If you so wind, you will reap wild wind. You can't eat your cake and have it. The North should stop complaining. Rather, they sh should uh, enough the f of the fruits of their labor. Wow. 
saying that the Lord should stop complaining that uh, they should eat the fruit of their labor. They are reaping what they sow. They are reaping what they sow. Well, be that as it may, let's you know your thoughts on this uh, new stories. What can the northern youth do to cope this situation in the most uh, part of the country, in uh, uh, northern part of the country, no, most especially uh, Bono, KB, and Keduna. Thank you for listening, and I will see you on the news. Bye for now.